On my table behind me, I've already laid out the fabric to save time. So at the moment, um, I'm starting with the lining first. I'm going to make the lining up and put it aside. So I'll show you what I do there. This curtain that I'm making is for a door. So I only need one curtain and it's just pulled to one side, whether the left or the right. I have turned the lining up at four inches and then I'm going to turn it again another two inches. That will give me my two inch hem for the lining. So I'm going to pick that, pin this down and I'm going to do the same. And I do this before I join the two up together so I get a nice straight edge. Uh, and then later on the hem of the of the curtains will be six inches turn up and then I will turn that over again and I'll end up with three inch turn up so I'll have six inches down the bottom nice weight so I shall get on with that No matter how many joinings I have, I like to do my hemming at this stage because I get a nice straight hem instead of having it along the table and doing that that way. I love doing it this way. And at the sides I deal with, I pin it down to a certain point and I leave these sides open so that it gives me room so that I can stitch the joins together as you will see later on. But I like to do this first and get it out of the way. And I know that's done. So here, both ends are being dumped and ironed nice and straight. The pins, as I said before, they go sideways because my feller machine cannot go over it. So I put it there keep it still so it doesn't twist. So that's my hem done and now they're ready to be stitched up. I'm not going to do the conventional hem where we stitch along here, where we stitch along here and then open the seams up. I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to do is a stitching where what allows me to be free of high ironing the seams open. So here's my hem as I showed you before, but I've opened it up and I'm putting the notches together there. And I'm folding this fabric back. And that's the way how I'm going to stitch it. I'm going to stitch it in the opening position. Can you see that? Basically, I've folded back the seam and I'm stitching on top of it. And I'm going to do this all the way down. Now this method, as you can see, that was my hem, so I turn it back around, can you see the hem? I turn it back and it falls back into place and then I'll go and iron that later. And from this side, 
this the same. So let me get on with this. Show you a little bit more. As you can see, this center seam, I have not yet ironed it, but yet it is open because of, of the way that I stitched it. To make things perfect, I will iron it, but if maybe I don't really need to. As you can see at the side now, I'm getting ready to do my two inch hem at the corner here for both sides. So I'm gonna do two inch here. At the moment, I have not yet hemmed it yet because I'm waiting to do, to mitre the corners of my curtain. So when I've mitered them, then I'll take it back to the feather machine and then I will mitre it. But as you can see, when I pressed it first and I've joined it, I've still con continued this lovely straight edge along the side. And there it is, look, it's not, it's not, it's not done yet. So all I have to do now, there it is, iron it again and that's fine. And all I have to do is just iron this again and that's fine. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going, all I need to do is go all the way down and iron this. And that'll be fine. That'll be ready. And then you can see this side of it. Nicely done. So now I'm going to measure all the way down the side of the curtain and put this at two inch so that I'll do that now now that I've done my two inch seam going all the way down and I've got here three inch seam going this way here which is the hem so I've done this angle here now I'm going to mitre the corner of my curtain when you release this, you will see the ironing mark. The iron marks. There is a line going there and there's a line there and there is a line going all the way here. It's with that line, you start to mitre your corner. What you do is the line that is going down here, you now take it, you hold the point there and you take that line and you put it over to that point. So there's a line going across here. So now we've got a triangle. So we fold it and we've got a triangle. You can see there's line going there and there's line. And with these lines and in, in, in here you can see there's a box there and the box is right at the point. So we now fold back our two inches, what we've done at the side, and we leave it there. Now there's a line going across here, and we've lined it up with this line that's going continue, which is the bottom of the curtain. So we'll now fold it over, fold it over, and you will see there is your right angle there. I want to show you it again from a different angle because if you didn't get it the first time I want to make sure you get it again right now we've got our two inch seam allowance which is the curtain the side of the curtain going all the way up the top and here we have our, our it was our six inch hem freeze already inside so we ended up with three inch here we gave it a good iron because the marking what the iron gives it is what what it lets us see what it is we're doing let's remove the pin let's undo undo it that's the side I'm undoing and this is the hem I'm now undoing from the ironing here it is the full amount has been undone can you see this the seam the creases those are the creases that what we're looking at here's another crease going along there right and then there's a box so with this crease, and there's the hem of the cur curtain, with this